Hey what's going on guys, it's Steve and welcome to the rebirth of Kite Man you can say also but I'm gonna say Batman issue number 27 rebirth explained a review and this video is really amazing I love this comic book and I really love the characters how they build it in the comic book but uh, I'm gonna say overall this one really great we get to see first who is Kite Man and how he was built up in this era in this Kite Man so I'm gonna read this review from WeScienceDCComics.com this one is great. People seem to be gaga over Kite Man in this rebirth era of Batman and even though I was a fan of Garth Ennis, that was really funny. Here we just have Kite Man saying his name again and then hell yeah afterwards and I just don't get the love that everyone seems to be throwing his way because somehow it warrants an origin story during the middle of Batman's big summer arc and again. I don't get it. That being said, we jump into this issue and see that Batman really fucked up over Kite Man's life and turned the man who was just simply interested in Wayne into the ridiculous villain that he would become because he once worked on the aerodynamics of the Joker mobile. Here we see this loserish guy Chuck Brown forced by Batman to set up a meeting between him and the Joker so that Batman can find out about his whereabouts and this becomes the catalyst for Chuck's life being torn to pieces because Riddler finds out about this and wants to know about where the meeting is taking place and this turns into a big as skirmish between the two sides of the war which we only get to see in splash page before the Joker takes Chuck away to go and watch TV yeah I'm not sure why the Joker is keeping Chuck alive and neither does he but uh, because the Riddler planned on Batman showing up because of Chuck he had previously poisoned the string of Chuck's son kite and the boy dies because of it in the end we see that Batman really did fuck up but I'm gonna say Joker is all about the thing. So anyway, I'm gonna still I, I'm gonna still make this story in a short way that will be fun. So yeah, what I'm gonna say about this man, Chuck Brown, Batman comes in and he tells about a Joker to Chuck Brown and he says because Chuck Brown wants involved into the making of the Joker mobile about the aerodynamic section. So that's why Batman tells Chuck Brown to make a meetup with Joker so he could have been there but Riddler finds it out and Riddler wants to meet with Joker also that's why he went on to find it what is going on right now and he wants to interfere on that business also so that's why Riddler make a riddle with Chuck Brown and Chuck Brown is right now just confused what to do so when Chuck Brown goes to meet with Joker he says everything to the Joker that Batman had set him up and again Riddler has set him up right now so Joker is just said what is going on right now so Chuck Brown when comes to meet with Batman Joker sets Chuck up with lots of bombs it's a switch bomb so right now Chuck is supposed to detonate the bombs but when Batman is near but when Chuck just detonate the bombs it didn't work so that's why Chuck is right now very depressed because he's losing his son his son is in very bad condition and Batman also played up with his life right now and he he did not have anything to do with those plans so Batman Riddle and Joker everyone just played up with Kite's life Kite's not Kite's it's Chuck's life we get to see when he his son was playing with the kites flying the kites suddenly kites come down it means the writer shows us that the boy is down right now and chuck is really angry on batman because the villainous that guy riddle or the joker poisoned the thread of the kite right now he is in hospital and chuck brown is depressed he don't know what to do right now and he is the collateral damage of this situation so that's why he went to meet with his son at the hospital batman was there and batman sees everything all but when he comes to chuck and says him that 
he will take he will avenge his son and he the vengeance will be there and those thing chuck was just listening to him everything because he knows what to do suddenly he finds out what he has to do this way or that way he will take his vengeance so that's why he started to found out himself because he is a real kite man right now so this is the portion where everything goes up everything the intention and the situation goes up because kite man is on the build he's on the verge of dc comics so dc rebirth is going pretty well with the batman series also because kite man it's the birth of kite man and he just paying a visit to joker right now this is the ballad of kite man part one this is a, you can say the interlude of the war of jokes and riddles and everything so according to that one this issue is really important otherwise if you miss this issue you won't be able to understand what is happening next but uh, everyone is going great and this comic book is really fun and really interesting but every time what makes me upset that someone is dying that is too bad so anyway hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like subscribe